might see one of my cats uh, go by. All right, so did you do your homework? Uh, yeah, part of it for sure. Yeah. Um, I didn't get to watch all of Dominion, but I did watch like most of it. Okay. Because um, so I was trying to watch everything like within the past couple of days, so I would kind of remember. Have it all fresh. Yeah. Okay. Um, that was a pretty good movie too. Like, you're lucky it doesn't change my mind. So we're gonna have to have a good conversation. But <laughs> it is it's hardcore. Like it changes my mind on some things for sure. Like, you know, it's easier to like go ahead and like support uh, like different movements for like you know. Uh, uh, sorry ethical farming practices for sure but like uh-huh. you know it's i'm still gonna eat chicken today or lamb or the uh, i'm not gonna lie though and, and, and spoiler for anybody who's gonna watch this <laughs> what they do with those male chicks for the uh like the, the egg laying hens yeah you just get rid of all the male chicks yeah i was that was pretty hardcore yeah like first, that part first day of happen- life yeah yeah. And I'm like, like, mind you, at least it's quick. Quick, but, you know. That was the quickest one in the whole movie. I don't, to me, if, if the government approves something like that as ethical because it's quick, I'm okay with it. Why is it a practice that they're killing them? Like, I don't understand that. They're of no use to them. They don't lay eggs. Do they, can they still not grow up and you can get some chicken wings out of it? I just mean, like, let's say we have a, just a regular farm. We're not, mm-hmm. like, like. Uh, my assumption is it's still like grow up and you still use that meat. I wouldn't know about that. It just seems like odd. Uh, they're just like, yeah, let's just kill it. Let's eat. Well, this it's chicken. a big, it's a factory farm, right? It's it's not your everyday backyard bum and pop farm. If there are such, a, if there is such a thing, but this is animal agriculture. This is how it works. That's the normal practice. So, do you know a lot about the chickens? What do they? What do you remember about that? In Dominion. Uh, everything. I literally watched it last night. <laughs> <laughs> so it's nice and fresh in your yeah, head, eh? It's like the last thing I did before I went to bed. Oh, wow. No nightmares? Good for you. No. No, and that, and, 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 and we'll probably get onto this part later, too. It's just like, I, like, I don't know. I can watch that stuff, and mm-hmm. it sucks. It really sucks to see, especially, like, when some of them are suffering. They're just not doing it properly. Like, it's, like, the farming practices itself are, are terrible. Um, and then like with the chickens, I guess like one of the bigger things I remember is like just the, just the amount of chickens like per cage, I guess. You know what yeah. I mean? Like don't they like 10 or something? Yeah. Like they're like stepping on each other. And actually was something I didn't know is that chickens are, um, like behavioral, uh, creatures where like they have like yeah. a set group. So, like, when you put them in a group of, like, a thousand, they go crazy. Well, that's why they debeak them, right? Mm-hmm. Make sure that they don't start pecking each other. I mean, they'll do that anyway, but... Oh, uh, sorry. I, that, I remember that part, too. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, I know. Um, so, basically, we have a topic today. Uh, this is my very first debate. Uh, and we have decided that uh, we're going to go with ethics, correct? Yeah. Okay, and our discussion claim is that breeding animals for slaughter is unethical. Yes. Okay, now I believe that, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like you to tell me why you think it is ethical for us to raise animals and kill them for our taste buds. Uh, honestly, for me, it, it, it's, it's a little bit more about just the taste buds. Like, yeah, sure, obviously it tastes great. Um, and like obviously with different cultures as well, like it's different types of uh, animals. But even like just say here, like especially growing up in small town uh, farm areas, obviously those farms are definitely mom and pop farms. Mm-hmm. Like all of the ones that you see, um, you know, obviously I frequent farmer's markets as much as I can because at least you know where, you know, the meat's coming from. And I'm a strong believer that there are health benefits. I'm not saying to go eat like massive steaks for dinner every day. Cause again, that's unhealthy. Um, but from, from the, some of the stuff I've been able to, to, to read, especially and to mind you, this is going to be the guy's point of view as well, or like a hunter gatherer type deal. 
<laughs> um, meat is definitely filled with uh, more proteins or more, uh, what do they call it. It's a different type of protein that actually helps you build muscle quicker than, say, just eating vegetables. They also say that meat is actually good for your brain health and nerve nervous system. Where'd you there hear, are a lot of. Where did huh? you hear that? Do you have a site for that or your your I source? Did. I didn't write it down. Oops, did it go away? Your face did, yeah. Are you there? No, oh, yeah. There. Okay. Just trying to find website. It kind of seems to be kind of like an opinion piece, but yeah, not there's peer reviewed. No, and I haven't been able to look at any of that stuff. Okay. Either. And I'm sure that like there, there's got to be meat benefits as well. Like I don't actually. One thing I wanted to look at that I didn't either was I was going to try to find something about like fangs for human beings. Because there's people out there that, have, yeah, like I have fangs. Yeah. And they're called canines. Oh, yeah. Well, I call them fangs. They're not, they're not fangs. They're canines. Can you rip apart the animal with your bare teeth? I would be able to, yeah. If well, we were actually, alive, if you were outside and you had to kill a lion with your bare teeth and your your massive claws, could you do that <laughs> without any weapons? Uh, no. Then <laughs> you're not. <laughs> why would you have fangs? Uh, because we need to eat it. No, that's canines. And you mean to eat meat? Well, that's yeah. that would be one of the reasons why we are not built to eat meat is because we don't have fangs. We have herbivore teeth. We have canines. Um, but okay, so we're getting on to health and we're getting on to a couple of different uh, things like physiology and stuff. Uh, are we carnivores or are we herbivores? Um, but let's go back. We can oh, yeah. still touch on that. Let's go back yeah. to uh, why you feel it is ethical to breed but, animals for well, slaughter. So it, it's part of that, that reason, like the, the diet. So we like it's something I've grown up thinking that we need. So did I, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, it was like everybody has. Like yeah. everybody's like, well, you gotta drink milk, and you gotta eat meat, and like the whole even <laughs> Yeah, I agree. And even yeah. just like slightly off topic too. It's even, even like with bread, mm -hmm. and now all of a sudden it's like, oh, actually, gluten's not really that great for you. And people started studying that. So. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> Ethically, as well, at the same time, if we actually had to go out there and actually do that ourselves, I think I'd still do it. But I, I honestly think that a lot of less people would eat meat if they had to do it. If they had themselves. to kill the animal themselves, yes. Yeah. You know, like, it's it's one to watch that video because it is it is crazy. Like, I don't know. It's just, I, I feel like also that's what we've also been taught in, in history as well. Like, we've... We've done like, this as tradition. I, yeah, like, we, yeah. yeah, we always, like, we, we hunt. Like, it's... But, that's also are, but you're not hunting. You're paying someone else to do it. You're paying yeah, someone else to... Yeah, that's just to... modern society. That's... Right, it, but so then does it? Then how can you put the uh, hunter gatherer in there? Then you, you, this has nothing to do with hunter. Well, because we're not doing it for sport; you're doing it to be fed. But we don't need to. This is where my argument lies. So we're killing animals unnecessarily. We don't need to survive off of meat. We can have a perfectly 100% balanced diet on a plant-based diet. We do not need yeah. any nutrition from meat. So let's go through your, your reason. So protein. Where does a where does a cow get their protein? I don't know. What do you mean? Well, you we're, you're saying that the cow is providing us with protein. This is, you know, yeah. your manly mind. You need to build your protein. Where does yeah. the cow, this big beast, get his protein from? Um, I guess it's food, really. And what does he eat? Uh, uh, I don't know. They eat 
grass. <laughs> so that would be plants, correct? They sure. grain, they eat plants, they eat grass. So when you're eating the cow, the protein you're getting is the protein that they've already ingested into their body and is now in their meat. So when you're eating protein, it's the protein that they got from the grass. So why don't you just skip the cow and eat the protein directly? Because uh, it doesn't taste that great. <laughs> Okay, so and now also you need to eat a lot more grass. Like the amount of gr like grass a cow eats. Right. And also they just eat grass. They just eat grass. No, they eat grains as well. You know, like a, like you don't have to eat as much meat as you would grass to get the same amount of protein. But are you telling me that all you eat is meat? No, you, you all, get your I have protein a, from other sources. Yeah, no, I agree. Yeah, like I uh you can get a lot of protein from nuts, can't you? For yes. some of the nuts? Yeah, yeah like I, I eat nuts. Okay, what do you think vegans eat? Just vegetables and plants? No, no, more than just vegetables. I'm just using that as an example. Okay. Like, where I can probably overlook the uh, the uh, ethical part of it is, is I don't feel satisfied if I'm just eating, like, I like, guess, vegetables. Because I've tried to do it as well. But it just doesn't work for me because I just, I ha like, I can't. It's probably part of why I'm getting bigger. <laughs> but probably, but what's... what's... <laughs> Stop eating. So it's because of taste satisfaction i feel like like and, and it's not a feeling i just am more like i'm, I'm more full of when i eat meat for some reason oh absolutely and, and like because it silly. sits there <laughs> yeah <laughs> sorry i guess it's not that silly to say really but it, it's true it's, it's just one of those things that like even if i don't eat a lot of it because i try not to eat a lot of it like it's yeah it's just more filling like uh you know when i make like rice dishes and vegetables uh i guess the with the exception with pasta pasta is very filling it is but, uh, I had the same feelings when I started that I don't feel that fullness. And that's because it's sitting in your stomach like a graveyard. We weren't meant to digest meat. Our intestines are not, uh, our intestines are longer than that of a carnivore. Because the carnivore's intestines, I think it's like 16 or 6. The point is, is their intestines are shorter carnivores to get rid of that food faster so that it doesn't sit in our stomachs and in our intestines festering and creating, I don't know, disease. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, with, uh, and with us, our intestines are longer. So it, it takes a lot longer for that stuff to go through. And you don't want meat sitting in your intestines. This is where a lot of intestinal illnesses come from. That's why our intestines are longer. What do you feel about animal abuse? Let's just go there. Let's just start there. So I know I'm against animal abuse. Again, that's part of like the practices as well. Like you don't agree with the practices. Obviously every farmer is not the same and some are going to be more gentle. Some are not. The ethics yeah. come into play when they go to the, when they go to the slaughterhouse. Okay. Right? Yeah. So our, my viewpoint is all sentient beings have a right to live. They do not want to die. So by taking them off of their farmland and putting them in a slaughterhouse where they are not killed humanely because there's no such thing, that's against my ethics and my morals because all sentient beings have a right to live. They would rather live than have their throat slit and be a 10, 15 minute meal on your plate. Oh, excuse me, can I have your life? I'm, I'm really hungry. <laughs> no, you can't give it back. But... I'm pretty, sure, I'm pretty sure that they say, no, I'd, I'd prefer to live. Thank you. Carry on. So that's where my ethics are. So you need to show me your argument where I am, I don't know, wrong? Yeah, not <laughs> wrong. It, yeah. It's not wrong. I don't know how to say this without looking like, like a bad person. <laughs> just say um, it. I'm, I'm sure we've all heard it before. It's okay. Well, it's just one of those things. Like, if, if I guess I don't have a problem with it. We're giving them the life in the first place. Okay, so those, we created those life, therefore, no, they wouldn't. They would not be alive, which is but animal breeding that we are against. I also believe at some point that if, let's say we all went vegan, like there was just something that happened, we all went vegan. Mm -hmm. I honestly don't see these creatures survive. For one thing, that wouldn't happen. Not There wouldn't be a one thing that made everyone go vegan all at once. I just, uh, I would, like, right? I, I, I know, I know. Right. So we have to look at it realistically. It's a, It's a growing process and the movement has grown quite a bit in the last couple of years so oh, be, sure. and it's the system is completely based on supply and demand so the yeah. more you you know you want something the more the farmer is going to create it and if he's not getting a demand for it those animals will not be bred i, I agree that's the wrong part of it like that the, the consumerism is is wrong how many how many animals are actually they, they kill oh. uh, in canada but, 800 yeah. 830 million animals per year are killed 
the sort of the year, the whole world. It's 74 billion. Yeah. Okay. But, uh, and then 14 million, I believe, are in Canada are injured in transport, just in transport alone. Yeah. And uh, 1.7 die before they get to the slaughterhouse because of the I way agree. that they're transported. Uh, yeah, the way they're transported is definitely unethical as well. Because mm-hmm. I, I did look at that last night as well because they, they're not fed. And even sometimes up to like 52, 50 or, uh, 52 hours. For, 52 hours. In, in, know, in, very, yeah, in different conditions, you know, cold, hot. There's, there's no, those trailers are completely open. So I don't even know, like, and that's like, again, part of your argument as well is because I can't figure out, I can't tell you a different way to transport. Yeah. Cause even if we could figure out a, a, a good way and there are standards that just aren't being followed on how to transport the animals, it still wouldn't really make a difference because in the end they're going to be killed. Mm-hmm. And that's what we are trying to avoid. That would be definitely a, a big argument for me as well. It's like, you know, I guess you're against the breeding. I'm, I'm not necessarily against the breeding. Well, because you, you see it as a food source. Yeah. Right. I see yeah, them. I, yeah. I, yeah, I, yeah. Right. I and I see them as sentient beings. I don't see them as my meal. I've enjoyed it so much at this to this point, but like the the satisfaction of getting it is some like that obviously would be the hardest thing to give up. Taste for sure. Yeah, mm-hmm. I agree. It, it, and, and I don't need, like even the mentality of it too. Like. I can't even walk down the meat aisle at a supermarket right now. Like I can't go down. I can't look that way because all I see is dead bodies. I don't see a hamburger. I don't see pork. I see the cow. I see the pig because I've, yeah. I don't have the cognitive dif- dissidence is what they call it. So I've connected to the fact that this this was a living being on my plate and I want all sentient beings to live. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't believe it's our right to take them. I don't believe we should be breeding them. I don't believe we need to eat them because we don't need to eat them to survive on a 100% plant-based diet. And I do have sources for all of this stuff as well. Um, it's not just talk. Yeah, no, I'm not right? arguing. I'm arguing. It, the, uh, taste, the taste argument is, is a really weak one in my, in my mind. It's weak because you're saying that your taste buds are more important than the life of a sentient being is what you're saying. So my moments of pleasure uh, are more important. And that's what I disagree with because if we all survived on, you know, well, it gives me pleasure. I'm just going to stab you in the throat. I can do it now because it gives me pleasure, right? Like we could do a lot of things based off of pleasure or taste, I guess. I don't know, <laughs> but that's the, that's what it is. It's all about how you feel when you eat meat and it's about, Ooh, that, that feels good. It's, we were conditioned to like it. We were conditioned to drink milk. We were, okay, we were conditioned to be this way. And I True. was, I thought the same way when it came to eating meat. So. Yeah. But there's the difference between you and me, how you value the animals. Yes. Uh, it's an unfortunate thing. I don't value them as much as I value my next human companion. Yeah. And, and I'm, I'm not even the worst one. Like, I'm of still just like a Canadian. Like, I still put value on some animals, too. Like, that's the yes. weird thing. My so, cat, yeah. nobody better touch my cat. Yeah. Or like dogs and like, you know, even even horses, like, mm-hmm. you know, and that's just another like, and that's the crazy thing, because that's just another farmyard animal. And maybe yeah. it's because we use them for different things. But we also slaughter the horses. I, I agree. I, and I was going to say there are other cultures out there that do slaughter. No, we do. We actually raise them and send them off to China. There was a practice in the United States where they were doing that and they stopped it. But you know how they got through that one? They just ship their horses up here to Alberta and the Alberta farmers here take them. And then they ship them onto their, uh, the plains and ship them off to China. I've never eaten a horse. I've never eaten a horse either. That was on an island then. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. I don't even know if I did before the horse. No, I know. But I just, so you're a hypocrite basically is what you're saying. Yep. Yeah. How's I am. Feel? Like, it, I don't know. It's fine. I don't know. I don't, I guess I just don't have have that in in me i just don't okay care. so then yeah. the ethics thing doesn't really matter to you then so i'm the one that went vegan because of ethics and morality there's yeah. other vegans that go out there because of the environment right they choose to uh go out there and you know whatever teach their own i'm for the environment as well but uh then the health a lot of people end up going into veganism because of health reasons yeah. did you watch cowspiracy uh no so there was also game changers um, and then what the health. So if you would have watched what the health, I watched what the health. Did you watch? So did you watch it? Yeah. Okay. So you've seen all the benefits of going vegan and right. Yeah. So yes. we drink 
<clears throat> large, a large amount of beer. I don't eat my grains. I drink my grains. <laughs> <laughs> and you, there's protein in beer. Yeah, yeah, Maybe sure. Sure. That's fantastic. <laughs> we do a lot of stir fries. Um, a lot of the time we just make it with uh, like a chicken breast and we'll split the chicken breast. So it's like half a chicken breast. Yeah. So when you're cooking then, um, you actually don't put a lot of meat on there. So yeah. you just made a stir fry and you put like, like what, two or three ounces of chicken on there, let's say. If you were to not put that two to three ounces of chicken on there and just put a little bit more rice or vegetables, still feel the same way. I'd still, I'd still feel hungry because I've tried to do it. Do you think that might be a little uh, psychological? Maybe, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, might, it might be. I, I do, like, I do believe scientifically that it's a different type of protein like that one article like that i was looking at hey where's your face how come i can't see your face because you're reading something yeah yeah okay apparently the proteins found in meat is complete high biological value protein which means the proteins are more easily absorbed and utilized by the body Protein is too acidic for the human body. We do not process it well. It is the main reason that one out of three meat eaters gets cancer, one of the main causes of osteoporosis. When animal protein enters the body, it makes our blood acidic instantly. The human body has figured out how to neutralize the acidity instantaneously by using phosphate. Now there's only one place to get this, from our bones which are comprised of calcium phosphate. So our body leaches calcium phosphate out of the bone, takes the phosphate to neutralize the acidity, and we pee out the calcium. I don't know what you're, if you can get me this, just let me go back to, I can't see your face. What is this source that you're reading from? I will, I, I will get you a source. Okay, give me the source. That's yeah. fine. So I have uh, sources that you could look at as well from, this one is called uh, the whole, th site is called Carnism Debunked. And so if you Google carnismdebunked.com, any question you have about uh, protein, calcium, iron, B12, all the health stuff is there, as well as any other arguments for environmental, any fallacies, the general and ethical position. Uh, but for you, it looks like the health would be the more thing, the, uh, the most thing that you would think. It quotes a whole bunch of studies as well. And then I've also got uh, stuff from the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics and how they all state i think there's how many here nine and the last one is harvard medical school we can go on stats and statistics and all day long but <laughs> <laughs> well because that's the worst part too and like on even on both sides like there's 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 arguments and science behind it and and just to say that one's right and one's wrong to me see, it's, yeah and i i get that right because it's cause confusing there are, there, yeah because to say that like there's no health benefits from eating meat whatsoever to me i don't think it's real don't i think that's a hollow argument okay because also if you eat all the plants on the planet you can die from some of them like so how 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 can you say that like you know like that's a you know what you're gonna die you from the plants there's absolutely zero health benefits from eating meat because there isn't there's no health benefits to eating meat what would what would a health benefit me, that's be all Okay, well, tell me what the and health benefit is. Like, to me, and my argument is that you're holding on to things that you've read and and going with it. No, actually, I'm not. But, but don't what, think where's your source, Darren? You have to tell me. You're, you're saying something, but is it just a belief that animal meat is good for you? Because I know. Well, what's, what proof do you have? But like part of that, like just because you're saying the thing about the, the, the meat, again, it doesn't, like I'm saying that the, the protein is good for is better for you than it is plant protein. Okay, and why would you think that? What is, what's telling you that that's that meat the same protein? Reason you. I read it online. I read right, it but, in and on. Okay, how many? But like the article, though. Yourself, though yourself, like. But you I've done the reviews. I've read all the reviews. No, no, no. I've read the peer-reviewed studies, Darren. There's a difference between uh, someone putting an opinion piece online and having um, the farming industry promote something or say something is good within the farming industry or having people affiliated with the farming industry saying something is good for it and having a whole bunch of other people saying, yeah, yeah, that's good. You need a peer reviewed study from someone on an outside source. You know this, 
And you don't think that there are peer-reviewed studies? Well, show them to me. I'm showing you a whole bunch. I've got lists and lists of peer-reviewed studies for you to look at, like that I could send to you today. I could send you all the, the links to go and look at all the peer-reviewed studies that say that uh, eating meat is not good for you. Even the, the UN has stated that 100% plant-based diet is the way to go. Um, and that was just, uh, I think, 2020. Mm -hmm. uh, the Canada Food Guide, if you look at how much meat they're actually telling you to eat. The reason they're doing that is because it's not good for you. <laughs> so but but it's, if it's not good for you, why are they telling you, telling you to eat meat? Because they need to make money. It's still a, a, it's everywhere. It's in everything. It's all, okay, so I'll give you a, an example of how it's so evil. Regan Russell. No, I've never heard that name. Regan Russell was uh, uh, an activist. She go to, I think it was Fearman's or something like that, Fearman's in Toronto uh, with the SAVE movement. And they go and they bear witness to all the animals that would enter the slaughterhouse, right? And they'd stop at the trucks and they'd give them water and they just, you know, try to give them a little bit of comfort for their death, right? And the yeah. truckers would usually sit there for a couple, three minutes because they'd hold a sign saying, just let us, you know, comfort the animals for a couple of minutes, okay? And so that's what they were doing. And what happened is, I believe the two days prior, the animal agriculture industry and the government of Canada uh, put forth an egg gag law, Bill 156. What this says is that we're not allowed to do what they were doing, basically, is stop a truck. to the truck or basically you're not allowed to protest. You're trespassing. So it's a huge trespassing law, making sure that no one's allowed to get any footage or do any bear witnessing, just go away basically. So she was there one day, the truck ran her over. She wasn't even in the way. The truck had parked itself in the middle of the intersection and the light had turned green many times. He should have gone many, many times before he did. Yeah. And Reagan was on the sidewalk on the opposite side. So when he decided to go, he gunned it, took a wide turn and rolled her right over and drug her. Like, I don't know how long. Uh, and she yeah. died. If that guy's not in jail, that's where it lies. Mm. That's the problem for me. Yeah, no, he's not in jail. Yeah. Not at all. Uh, I figured even... that's where you're probably going to go with that. Yeah, thank you. The, the evilness, yeah. which is why they're going to continue to tell you to buy meat. And they're, they're not going to 100% come out and tell you that meat is bad. They would never. Yeah, but how much think about or the, the dairy egg think how interesting if you pick up something go down the aisle how many freaking items have milk ingredients in them like what the hell is that doing in there like, oh, i agree so it's we, in we, we everything but what i'm saying is it's in everything the farmers or the agricultural you know community is is using that it's like they're trying to mask their bad practices with giving like look at these small and pot farmers mm -hmm. Happy chickens, Him. happy eggs. Yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. Like people should be watching the video or the videos. Many like people should be aware of, mm -hmm. of, of these farm factors. And that is something that the video does capture quite well is, and it's also part of that consumerism is how many farms have actually been shut down? How many small farms have been shut down? Not that many. It, it, it actually says in the video, there's a lot. Oh. Like especially Where? the pig farms. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You know, like to go from like a shit ton of pig farms to, I think they said 1,400. Oh, yeah, because like, you know, it's being like, phased out. Yeah, exactly. And it's going into the, the, the farm factory. And again, that's part of the consumerism. They, they still need to make money. And there's no way to make the money on the smaller farms for animals, I guess, which, you know, it's their problem, really. Mm -hmm. You know, the, there are some farmers, farmers that can transition into other things to farm besides animals. So, like, I don't really feel too bad for the farmers. They get subsidies from the government right now just to stay afloat. Yeah. Um, so they can definitely transition into something else. Uh, they've got time. <laughs> Veganism isn't going to take over tomorrow. And they got space. I yeah. agree. Like, most of the farms, too, where I grew up, too, they all they all grew either uh, wheat or corn. Mm -hmm. 
I actually, I think I remember being on the odd dairy farm as well, but I don't, I don't drink milk. I, I still like, I just, for one, actually, I don't drink milk because I don't like the, the practice of getting the milk. And two, I don't think it actually tastes good. If you're against the practice of how they get the milk and you're not drinking milk because of that, you're also saying you're against the practices of animal agriculture and how animals are treated and possibly how they're slaughtered. So what is it with, is it just the taste for you? Like, no, because part of it too, I don't stop like with the milk. when I can, I, I will buy like, like, a, like farmer's market meat or like halal meat or something like that. Like, I, is just I, a fancy I, name. I, huh? halal is just a fancy name, man. Yeah, I guess. Still killed it, the same way. That I disagree with. Yeah. It's well, so do you think a mom and pop, stuff. do you think a mom and pop are the most, like, uh, this is an actual question. I will look this up myself because i'm actually not sure of the answer uh that most mom and pops butcher their own animals or do they send them off somewhere else to get butchered um i honestly think they probably send it off actually exactly they probably send it off so they get slaughtered like, the same a, way yeah you probably don't have the tools for that the practices on the farm, a lot of them we can agree are horrible and some are not, right? And again, that's not like I would, I would act, be an activist against that as well. However, it's the act of dying that I'm against right now. Yeah. You got it. Like, this is the more immediate for me. No, for sure. And that's definitely where I, I don't, I really don't care. And it's so you actually don't care about the animal's life. Is that what you're saying? So how can you care about the cat that's sitting over there on the floor or the couch or the lap? And not care about another animal that has life and, and wants to live. It, is, it has feelings. It actually cares. It has a, a family unit. Um, you know, I mean, the mother's babies are ripped from them and they cry for, for weeks because the yes. babies are ripped from them. So they have feelings. So what makes you think that they don't have feelings and it's okay to kill them? But I'm not saying that the farm factories are, are, are right either. Like, yes. Uh, I'm not a talking, I'm talking farm- about you, though. I'm talking about you. So if you, it doesn't matter whether or not, like, you the factory farms do it or the mom and pops farms do it. The fact is it gets done. Yeah. Their throats are slit. They're uh, sometimes while still alive. They get a bullet in the head. You've seen it. Yep. I did. I watched so, that. Yeah. I didn't really face me. So that's because you, you don't see them as living beings, as sentient beings. Maybe, that be the reason? Yeah, maybe, maybe sentient for sure. I guess I don't like, they are living beings. I'm not going to lie. They are living for sure. So that's gonna, that's you, a hard argument for me to make because I agree. I wouldn't kill my cat for food. Not to say why? other cultures don't do that. Right, but why um, wouldn't you kill your cat for food? It's got meat on it. I, I honestly, it's probably part of, and it's it's a bad argument, but it's what I'm going to make is 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 what I said earlier. The the, the farming those animals shouldn't even be alive. Like you're breeding them for that purpose. Does it matter? So they're regardless still alive? if you think they're living, I believe their purpose is to is Serve for us <laughs> to, to yeah. feed us. Yeah, and, and, and that's and exactly what they were created for. I yeah. get that. Yes. It's a god complex, like almost in a sense. Too. It is. Like, it's, it's called speciesism. Yeah, and I'm okay with that. I, I, I I'm see okay. That. Yeah, <laughs> I can see that. Yeah. So I if you thought see... that the animals were were more sentient, would you eat them? No. Okay, so what is the definition? Like, if I knew they, act, they like, I, I get they have feelings. I get they, you know, there are certain things, but it is very clear the difference between human beings and animals. What's on, the um, it, it's like, like we're the only species that know, like, I guess, like who we are that have self reflection type deal, self awareness, yeah. kind of so, being yeah, self aware. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm not saying a cow knows it's a lot, but it's watching those videos. There's a lot of things that happen because it's just instinct for them yes they're scared and i get like it makes the video look more powerful nobody wants to die they look scared is that what you said they yeah they, look they are like they are scared they're, but they don't look it they are that's that's just like you know the, the... it's okay to scare the crap out of an animal and torture it and murder it yeah, i don't think it knows it's gonna die you don't think it can smell the blood when it goes into the slaughterhouse. You can't see that. You don't think that it, when it looks down that tunnel and it heard the screams or it heard. Uh, the bullet or it can smell the blood that's trickling down that it doesn't know it's about to die. Or when it's yeah. in that slaughter truck, you don't, yeah. eh? Like, I don't think it's sitting there thinking, oh my God, I'm going to die. <laughs> like it, I, I don't think it's doing. So, and even if it doesn't, so what? 
So what if it does eat scared shitless? It doesn't know where it's at. It's being tortured. It's being poked with a fucking electric prodder. It's, yeah. you know, it's being shot in the head multiple times because the idiot couldn't do it right the first time. You know, it's, it's multiple things like that, that, that say it is scared. I would scared. assume that's a hard job to do. I would assume it, but you know, that's a different subject. Um, I know. And in that video, mind you, those guys do not look like it's a hard job. No, they don't no. make it look like it's a hard job. And, no. and I think that's, part of the criticism I would have of that video is they show the worst of the worst. They show very evil images. And I'm not saying that it's, you know, mm -hmm. better everywhere else, but there is a, a, like, I think a big difference between that and other farms. <laughs> right. And, and again, we go back to that being on the farm and not actually in the slaughterhouse. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, and the, the whole process, you, you, you know, like in the farm or on the farm, you, you know, those animals do grow up with, with each other. You know, they, they do. don't get pulled away from their families and stuff like that. They get to sent to the slaughterhouse, which at, at that point, I really, that's probably where I actually don't really care too, too much. See, that's where the problem lies, Darren. <laughs> it is. It is. Because honestly, <laughs> like not, and not to like, this is going to sound pretty evil too, but, and not that that's a good thing. It, it, some of it's crazy, like setting them up on like the machines and the conveyor belts and all the other stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, some of it's really fucked up. Right? Mm -hmm. And sorry, I'm oh, sorry for this word. But it's it's fascinating at the same time. Like, it's crazy how something like that exists. And why it exists. That's your second question. <laughs> 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 I also think, too, and, and, and maybe this is kind of where I might try to, like, maybe not, like, 100% change. Because I'm probably not going to live until 100. I want to. I keep eating meat. Uh, yeah, uh, but that's probably why I'm not going to live to 100. I don't want to be one of those people who, like, unless I'm healthy, mm -hmm. then why live that long? Stop you know what eating I mean? meat. Like, but I, like, now I'm going to have, I don't know, if I stop eating meat right now and I live to 100, I have 70 years of not eating meat. Right, that's awesome. No, that doesn't entertain me. That <laughs> doesn't entertain you? No. Is that what you said? Like, there's just no way. And, and not that I, like, again... Like I'll eat like cereals or like, you know, waffles and stuff for breakfast. But yeah. on the like, when, when it comes to my weekend, if I don't have like bacon and eggs, I, it, it, to me, it just seems like an empty weekend because I enjoy making it. I enjoy eating it. You could also find another recipe that you enjoy making. You know, it, it's you're, you're limiting yourself, you know, and things yeah. that you could make vegan style. I mean, and but it's I don't like have creativity. to add anything to what I'm making. I don't add anything to bacon. I don't add anything to eggs. I don't add, add spices. I add spices to, you know, vegetables and like stir fries. And, and I do use a lot of spices. You know, if I have to dress up my salad to make it taste good and I can just eat my meat without adding anything to it, like that's to me also where my, I guess, psychological issues lies. I don't, I know I don't have to add anything to the meat to know that I like it. Totally and and mind you, I don't, I, I'm not going to say they don't add anything either, but even like the meat from the farmer's markets, like straight from the farm, it is, it tastes even better. Well, I couldn't than, explain why it would taste better, but. Uh, and maybe because of some of the stuff that they add or like, you know, the, the way that the, the grocery store ones are, are kept and, and all that stuff. I'm sure that adds to the taste or decreases the taste. Hands down. I don't even care how much it is. I'd pay for the farmer's market one any day because like it. Like it was weird that it, it ha tasted much, much better. I don't know. Maybe it has something to do with the, the stress that the chickens are under while they're alive. Like maybe this yeah. farms, the farmer's markets have a, a lower quantity of chickens, right? And they're not as stressed, but they still get the chickens from the same place. Uh, and they have to continually uh, inseminate the chickens. You know, they, so it's, it's to the me, same process. Science at the same time. It's what? Science. It's not science. It's rape. Yeah. What the fuck are you talking about? Science. It's rape. You're raping chickens. You're raping cows. You're raping pigs. All for, the, all for your taste buds. I don't see it that way either. I know, but you should because that's what's happening. I mean, you're blinded to that because of your taste buds. That's pretty sad, buddy. <laughs> that's pretty sad. <laughs> Poor little cat. Just fry up your cat and see how your cat tastes. Yeah, but I'm not, until I like read enough peer-reviewed stuff, it, well, then start the reading it. I'm just saying, I still, I still believe that there's benefits from eating meat. Do you, do you have something over your speaker? You started sounding funny. Maybe we should stop and start again. I don't know. Or, or we can pick up another day too. And, and yeah, we could. Um, I don't know why you're sounding like that. Find, and to find some literature for you. Okay, so yeah, we'll do this again then. Um, this is my first one, anyways. It's like a practice one. Uh, yeah. It helps us out both for the next time we do this. We'll be a little bit more 
organized, maybe? Okay. Now I'm, look, I'm looking at your forehead, Darren. Oh, sorry. I'll look at a couple other things as well. For sure. Okay. All right. Later. Obviously, you're not going vegan today. No. Or vegetarian. Uh, no. I have some pasta I made with some lamb in it, and Ooh. it's delicious. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> I'm going to let you go, bud. Um, right. Thanks for uh, uh, over an hour. I appreciate that, talking to me, uh, helping me train. I appreciate it. When I'm famous, <laughs> I'll mention you. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you have a good day. I'll talk to you, you later. Too. Okay, send me a message and let me know uh, when you're available. Yep. Okay. Bye. -bye. Bye.